While you were busy drooling over Acer's gorgeous new gaming monitor, you may have missed Microsoft's Room Mapping Camera System, a video game that fits in a tweet, and this fun experiment with lasers and liquid nitrogen. Hey everyone, I'm Veronica Belmont, and this is In Case You Missed It, where the stories are as fresh as Microsoft's original paint program. What's it, what's it called again? Oh, lightning bolt. Yeah, that's pretty useful. Now let's label a chair just by touching it and saying label chair. Researchers at Microsoft unveiled an awesome augmented reality system that turns the physical world into a digital canvas. It's called Semantic Paint, and it allows users to make super detailed 3D images of spaces using a Kinect. It can even identify individual items in the room. The user simply captures the initial room scan, then walks through the space touching items and calling out their names so the computer can differentiate them. Microsoft hopes that this system will eventually help both robots and the partially sighted to better navigate the world around them. And eventually, you won't even have to search for the TV remote. Just take a picture of the room and have a computer do it for you. From the dude that brought us this... There's no, no good reason for anybody to own something this powerful. ...comes this video of lasers and LEDs changing colors by being frozen with liquid nitrogen. The experiment works by using the nitrogen to cool the semiconductors, which ultimately decreases the light's wavelength, shifting its color from red to blue. Oh yeah, definitely blue shifted. You know, just a few college pals hanging out in the lab with some lasers. Wait, I think I've actually seen this scene before. Put the target in front of the cinder blocks, will you? Laser on! Oh, and right on the heels of one of the best E3 Expos ever comes this. It's called Tiny Twitch, and is actually quite a feat. Programmer Alex Yoder fit all of the code for this game in a single 140 character tweet. The concept is this. Click the X in your browser as many times as possible before time runs out. Twitch broadcast, anyone? Okay. And finally, did you ever wonder what the resonant frequency of googly eyes is? 433 megahertz, apparently. I don't know, guys, I'm just a messenger. And that's all the weird stuff we could find. Later, potatoes.